Last week, your colleague Marie Harf uh, doubted the sources of a UN report that talks about a sharp increase in the number of uh, people fleeing Ukraine into Russia. Well, I'm with RT. You don't like RT. What about other news sources, US news sources? And here's the Wall Street Journal writing about the horrors that people face and why they flee to Russia. Are all these sources exaggerating the scale of the crisis there? Well, uh, there's clearly a significant movement of people uh, due to the violence caused by Russian-backed separatists in eastern Ukraine, uh, though the vast majority have not sought refugee status. That hasn't changed. Uh, there are a few, and I think Matt asked last week what the difference is between here, here and Syria, and one of the differences is that there are a range of international organizations on the ground in Syria and NGOs uh, who are calculating uh, or uh, validating uh, the number of asylum seekers or refugees crossing the border. And so this is single source reporting uh, strictly from uh, the Federal Migration Service of the Russian government. Uh, and that's, that's one of the reasons that we expressed uh, doubt about the, the numbers or the range of numbers that were reported in this case. But it, it seems that, that you are downplaying, honestly, uh, downplaying the scale of the crisis there. You know, these are just, that's the reason why I would show these pictures. These are shots of civilians blown to pieces in, uh, in their homes and their backyards in uh, the village of, uh, in, in the village in eastern Ukraine last week. And Kiev ordered these killings, nobody else. Well, what I does the U.S. do to stop Kiev from doing it? I from the village of Kondrashovka. Well, let me finish. Go ahead. I'm letting you finish your question. Yes, I'm sorry. These are gruesome think, pictures, to but be, it seems... To be clear, uh, on the ground, uh, the reports that we've seen and the uh, vast majority of people who are reporting from the ground report that the Russian-backed separatists are the ones who are uh, not only uh, in, engaged in, uh, in violence and uh, efforts to uh, take over buildings and attack people and innocent civilians, and they have no place doing that in a country that's a sovereign country like Ukraine. So that's These people are issuing airstrikes ordered by Kiev, not by Russia, not by the separatists. The government of Ukraine is defending uh, the country of Ukraine, and I think they have every right to do that, as does do the, the international people. community. And these people have right to live, don't they? Well, I think the people of Ukraine have the right to live in peace and security without Russian-backed separatists. Uh, attacking their homes and going into uh, buildings, uh, and I think that's where the root cause of this is, and we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't forget that fact. Yeah,